Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can update MongoDB data using Express.js and Node.js API. So here we can see we have update books, API endpoint and then you can see we have API slash books and then we are passing ID. So now let's go here and we can see we have API books. So I'll just copy this one, get request and we'll paste it here. Just change get to put. So now we wanted to perform put request on API slash books and then ID. Then we have request and response. And uh, after that, what we have to do first, we have to find the particular books. So I'll write here ID database.collection.books and find this particular ID we will get. But before that, let me just delete these all things. Books.api.id here we have now let's create first query parameter that we wanted to fire the query particular query. So I'll write here let query equal to id and in this id I can say parse int request dot parameters dot id whatever data we will get that id we have passed here in the query next thing what we can do we have to create object so i'll say uh, here let object equal to id so object is nothing but a books that we wanted to perform so i'll write here book let's say book and id equal to parse int request dot parameter dot id whatever data we are getting we can set it on this id and then we'll have to add title title equal to request dot body dot title so if you will see in the put request also we had we are sending two things one is parameter and then another one is body request body so we want to update this id update on this particular id so for that we have added here one thing we have query and then books next thing is that we'll create the data set which will be used so i'll do here uh, let data set equal to and here we'll have to use one dollar set and in this set i'll do book whatever book you are using you have to set it here and the final step is to call the database so i'll write database dot collection and then here i'll use the same collection books dot now we will use update one update one and in this update one first thing i'll pass this query so i'll write here query then ne next thing that we have to pass is data set so i'll write data set this one that we need to pass you can write these things these all things in one line also and after that we will expect result error and result now let's see what we will get here if we have any error then simply we can say throw error else we can say response dot send and here we can uh, simply send this book this particular book that we have we have created we can send it back to the user save it and now we can check in postman so here we have books id we have passed so let's say in get all request or in mongodb directly we can check we have 105 c sharp coding let's say i wanted to change 105 c sharp coding to c sharp programming 
so i'll need to pass here on update books here i'll say 105 and then i can say this should be c sharp program instead of c sharp coding i wanted to change it to c sharp program let's send it now we get 200 response and then here it is saying c sharp programming that means data should be changed here so if i'll refresh now you can see data is changed so collection data is changed in mongodb this is how we work with put request so we use dollar set function to update the data you can do all these things in one go also we have update and instead of writing these things you can just copy it and paste it here so you can write this update query and then after that we have data set so instead of data set you can directly write the object that we need to send it here so i'll write this data set in the next line and then here we have error <coughs> books and error right in this case you don't need to write these all things books books is needed the thing is we don't need query and other stuff you have to just create book object and then pass it here both will be the same so this way we work with put request now in the next tutorial we will see how to delete the record <coughs>